Hi, I'm Donald Drake and welcome to Machine Tutorials where I'm going to teach you how to build a forked gate. And this is what I consider a forked gate. It's when you roll a marble and a lever stops it, but it also simultaneously hits another marble. And then eventually the lever lifts up and allows the original marble to go through. And what you need to build this is really simple. It's a connects lever. All this connects lever is is a that. I mean, should be really easy to build. Uh, and a, a a T. And I consider anything that like holds a marble in place, like so, a T. You could use an actual golf tee if you don't have connects, or you could use a pen cap. But uh, so you'll need a tee, and you'll need a ramp, and uh, that's all you need. And I'm not showing you what materials you need to use. I'm just showing you what needs to happen. And what needs to happen is the marble on the tee has to overlap the ramp enough. So another marble can hit it. And then the lever, of course, needs to be placed on its side. And uh, you could put a connects in front of that, but apparently it doesn't move too much anyway, so. And uh, the pitch of the ramp really doesn't matter. I just have it pitched with two cans. And then what happens in between here and here is up to you. I mean. There's an infinity of options right here to do before you get back to this. This is just a really common technique uh, to produce a forked gate. And the reason why you would want to do this is because if you want to come back to the very beginning of the machine and use that original ball you used, you have to do it. I think it creates a level of vertical complexity which to me means how many times you refer back to something you already did. It's kind of like multi-use elements aren't a, are an example of vertical complexity, but so but so is coming back to this ramp. One thing I recommend when you build a uh, forked gate is to have the marble it hits really close to when it stops. So when your eye's traveling with the ball, it continues to travel smoothly. Because if I started this ball, the blue ball up here, and the green ball hit it immediately, your eye would still be looking to where this went, while this went on its own adventure. So I, I like to have the gate and the uh, object, the marble hits, close together to create a fluid transition between eye movements. And one of the best things about this technique is how it doesn't work with just marbles. It, it can work with bearings. That was that ramp's not good for this bearing, and it has a string on it. But it could work with any object really. And the principle remains the same. You need a a lever to lift up. And the only re way you're going to lift up this leather lever once this ball is against it is if you have something else going so this ball will eventually trigger the events to hit this lever and then this ball what this ball does is up to you and how you tip this leather is up to you lever is up to you and uh basically everything's up to you this is just a very useful technique to break up the monotony of uh machines that just are straight linear like dominoes this is a way to create kind of a fractalization a loops within loops within loops and uh, I hope you found this video useful uh, this is something that I've perfected over the years I'd like to think and I use it all the time I'm going to be using it in a one bearing path video but if you have any questions comments and complaints please write them in the appropriate areas or inappropriate areas and uh, thank you for watching I have many names subscribe comment like 
Four more. 